Okay, here we are, Sunday morning. Got to go head out. I got a text message last time. I don't know if you can read this here or not. It says, Plane quit one kilometer north of Goddard Harbor. Staying here tonight. So, you know what that means? That means we have to go retrieve a downed float plane and the owner. So, I'm going to fuel up this plane. Well, this Kit Fox will take it up to Flight the Goddard's boat probably 50, 60 miles north of here along the beach and uh, grab a few tools so we can find out maybe we can help them out or bring them back. Okay, Sunday morning we're gonna do, do a partial walk around already there. Oil level's full. Okay, I might as well, I don't normally check this tank first, but we'll do a land. There's full fuel right there. Put that back on. Make sure that's secure. Prop. Look at this, is a good towel secure. Okay, we'll dip the other tank there too. See, that's on land. It's on a different angle in the water. Not quite. So we got about almost eight gallons on there. If you look at this dash tank here, eight plus in the land, another uh, in flight. Six, so we got 14 gallons on board right now. That should be good. Anyway, check your leading edge, all your attached points there. Um, that'll secure. Secure there. Okay. On the cross wires, it all seems secure. Yeah, out to the tip, back on that way. And usually, when you're doing a walk around from the back, you can see your float fittings or your get fuel fittings there, eh? But we're gonna look back at those again just to make sure, since you can't see them when they're on floats. Sounds good. Now. Yeah. Both tubes are pointing straight ahead, so we know the gas caps are secure. Front tank is okay as well. Anyway, let's get this thing fired up. I'm gonna head up along the lake to find this guy. Okay, we got the plane. Gas is on. Gear's down and locked. Uh, we got fuel. Mags are on. We'll prime it. Make sure no one's around. Some of my readers say it's not very professional. Well, no kidding, but you know, usually not many people around my place, so. Anyway, here we go. Clear, clear. Try that again.
Here we are in a field somewhere. Derek made it. <laughs> this unhappy Jeez, camper. Movie. Do you love your Rotax mo engine? Pull her off. Anyway. Wait, wait. See what the heck's wrong with it. Looks okay in there, eh? Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of dirt down on the bottom there, but oh, yeah, the dirt. but the filters uh, but the filters okay. Yeah. Boy, that came up through the main filter there. Yeah, that's what you get for not using a funnel, eh? Yeah, actually, that's right. Look at that. Yeah. Like sand. Yeah, but you just get that shit in there too, eh? Look at the gritty, but you know what? If any of that stuff metal filings out of my tank, that's what it is. That's metal filings, yeah, out of that aluminum tank. Yeah. Groovy. Just switch and dump it right out. There, now she's cleaner again, eh? AGT's kept on creeping up. Man, this is a bumpy runway, eh? Yeah, oh yeah, compared to yours. Huh? Holy shit. But I, I've been in here. Here we are. It's a trail you are gonna. Head back home. See if both planes make it out of this bomb trail of a runway. Holy crow. Well, this guy ever heard of a roller. Thanks for letting us come into your strip. It's kind of cool. Okay, here we are. End of the runway, Centralia. Got a guy coming in here in Cessna, it looks like. Well, he looks good. Yeah, 172 won't really mind the, the rough runway. Holy, it's a rough runway down here, I'll tell you. We'll be heading back. Tax carb socket right there. That was caused the trouble in that uh, beaver with the 582. You can see it was sucking air right through there. See that? Just cracked right through there. Look at the other side. I split that when I squeeze that, it split open, but that's pretty clearly it was sucking air right through there, causing the lean condition. His EGT went from 1050 to 1200. Personally, I like 1200 on mine, but that's what it was just sucking air right in there. Anyway, check those carb sockets. Keep that good Rotax engine working.